Welcome back to Vinny's Aquatics. Thank you for joining me here in the top secret underground fish room. Today, I want to talk about one of my fish. He's only got one eye. And being creative, because he's a Jack Dempsey, I called him One-Eyed Jack. And here he is. Here he is, One-Eyed Jack. Now, I think they should make little little uh, pirate eye patches for these one-eyed fish. I mean, it, you know, it would look great in the aquarium. What do you think? Now, here's a segue for you. Speaking of pirates named Jack, have you seen have you seen the news about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard divorce? I mean, I, I've been watching Umbrella Guy or the Umbrella Guy. I've been watching his videos on it. This woman Amber Heard, this woman Amber Heard is batshit crazy. Pardon my French, but this woman is crazy. She actually took a dump in Johnny Depp's bed. And as strange as that is, I find it even strange that these weirdos in the news are trying to outdo each other by showing us this dump she took in Johnny Depp's bed. What's wrong with you people? Just stop it. Now, now Amber Heard's also an Aquaman, which I'm going to get to after the break. But what we're really here for is we're talking about our fish. Blind fish. One-eyed fish. What are you doing with them? Are you going to kill them or are you going to keep them? Let's hit that intro. Do me a favor. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Thank you. All right, guys. Let's get to the Aquaman thing real quick. Now, has anybody but me noticed that it's the year 2020 and they just can't do underwater CGI? I mean, this movie looks, it looks terrible. It looks horrendous. They would have been better off doing it in a pool. I mean, is it me? Or is the best special effects you've ever seen in Jurassic Park and CGI has gone straight downhill from there? Because Aquaman, the special effects stink. He stinks and I don't like it. Leave a comment down below. All right. So what we're talking about today, the main thing, blind or one-eyed fish. Sometimes they lose their eyes due to aggression. Uh, sometimes it's because of disease and other problems. We're not going to deal about the root cause of it. Let's just say it's happened. You got a fish. He's got one eye or he's blind. What are you going to do with it? I've heard people say they call the fish or kill the fish. And personally, why would you do that? I mean, come on. Do you think uh, D. Martin would take uh, Sammy Davis Jr. out back and hit him in the head with a rock just because he had one eye? No. no. I really don't think he would do that. Because if I had enough time, I would take those rosary bleeds and uh, stuff them up your nose. These bleeds? <laughs> those bleeds, yeah. You gonna take these <laughs> and shove them up? i take... So, let's talk about it for a second. Now, this naturally blind fish that occur in nature. There's the blind cave tetra. It's a subspecies of the tetra, and it only dwells in underground caves. It's born blind. It has no eyes. We're not talking about that. That's a naturally occurring thing. Also, there's a fish. Here's a story in Vancouver. They actually made him an artificial eye so the other fish wouldn't bully. Okay, I don't think fish should be bullying, and instead of making him a glass eye, why don't you teach him some martial arts and some MMA? Let that fish defend himself. All right, but what we want to talk about is blindness, either one eye or both eyes. Now, a very common symptom reported by a uh, home Aquarius is that one of his fish has become blind. This, I'm sorry, but more often than not, is just a result of the fish being so ill, it's to the point that it's 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 close to death, and it's not just blind. Basically, a fish that it bumps around the aquarium, running into the tank sides and ignoring food it might not even be blind at all it unfortunately it's probably just dying now a truly blind fish this is what you gotta look for a truly blind fish is gonna behave as if it's nighttime it might even show its nighttime coloration the fish will swim very cautiously so not to run into the tank into other obstacles it will orientate itself in the normal upright position and if food is added to the tank it's gonna to attempt to seek it out, perhaps by moving its mouth along the bottom of the tank, snapping of any food that it may come in contact with. 
Look, it's important for you to be able to differentiate the difference, the subtle differences between these two problems. Because a truly blind fish may live for many years given extra care. While a sick fish, it's gonna continue its health decline and probably die, and whatever killed it is gonna kill everything else in your tank. So pay attention to that. Look, your fish have an amazing ability to heal. As long as there's no underlying disease problems, they will frequently recover from a lost eye. Once the eye is gone, scar tissue will quickly fill the orbit socket, and within a matter of several weeks, the orbit will be filled with new tissue. While this nape, you know, might not be nice to look at, the fish will do quite well with one functional eye. Another thing, did you know fish don't have eyelids? It seems like they have eyelids because they have a secondary tissue there, but they do not have eyelids. Secondly, a fish's eye, the lens doesn't bend like our lens does in order to focus light into the retina. They have muscles to do that. So their eye is very different than a mammalian eye. A lot of fish, they have big eyes. Since they don't have any eyelids, they're very vulnerable. So when they have some kind of damage to their eye, the secondary pathogens such as viruses, bacteria, fungi, parasites, they can colonize the eye and make the matters much worse. Those you got to treat right away. But if you're lucky to stave off infection and the eye heals up, you're just gonna have a one-eyed fish, even a blind fish. I mean, maybe you gotta put some of them in a the tank by themselves, but I don't know. I personally, I'm not the type to, to kill a fish. I really, I don't like euthanizing any of my fish. I try to save them till the very end. I try to do everything I can to make them, to make them better. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works, but I just don't have it in me to just take a fish and smash its head with a rock like some people do or or take clove to it and just, you know, like I'm suffocating it with a pillow. I, I'm not that guy. I don't have it in me. Now, I know the people that breed, they're culling their, their uh, pry all the time to pick out the best ones. You know, whatever. That, that's probably one of the reasons I don't, I don't, I'm not good at breeding. I don't think I could do that. I would just have a whole bunch of ugly fry everywhere. But, I mean, what do you guys do? Had, have you had a blind fish, a one-eyed fish, a fish that's been attacked in his eye or has a disease? Do you have one right now? Let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, me personally, I just don't have it in me. What say you? Anyway, I want to end this on a much happier note. So I've been showing you my 40-gallon breeder right now for the last couple minutes. There's one of my Oscars. With that beautiful pad, I've had that parrot for so long. That is a beautiful fish. His color is amazing. Now this right here, this is allegedly a rare fish. I don't know. That's what I was told. It's a leaf catfish. There's my veiled Oscar. Look, as the parrot comes on to kiss it. Now here's something else. Uh, who else got Oscars? Why does your black Oscar turn gray? Now Oscars are up and open turning gray in color times especially the black Oscar. It makes it all the more noticeable. There are various explanations to this as Oscars sometimes change their color on their own, you know, according to their surroundings. An Oscar may turn from black to gray if frightened, scared, distressed in any way. Moreover, Oscars will often change from black to gray according to the tank environment. See, what that means is if you have a darker substrate, your fish is gonna show much darker colors. If you have a light substrate, see, that's what I have. I have a light substrate, and I just turned the light on a little while ago. It also, it's vice versa, where you'll see gray on a black one. So a lightly colored substrate, one more time, a lightly colored substrate may cause your Oscar to change its colors in accordance. It's believed that this is camouflage to protect them. Now, since I have a, uh, you know, I, I like the gravel like I have here, it's, I, every time I turn, the, not every time, but a lot of times I turn the light on after the whole day and uh, they have the gray in them. I think they're just uh, blending in with the surroundings. I don't see any aggression in this tank. I mean, the parrot likes to kiss. I mean, that's that's a little creepy, but we'll, we'll let it slide. He's like the Joe Biden of fish. And then we got the leaf catfish. Has anybody got any of these? Has anybody seen one of these? I, I really like this fish. What he does is he goes to that piece of wood right there and he blends in like a leaf. I guess that's why they call him a leaf catfish. Genius, Vinny. 
And look at how big and colorful the Kissing Bandit is. That is my Frontosa. You guys saw him in another video. He's getting huge, but he friggin' hates the camera. Every time I try to record this guy, this is what he does. He hides in the back. He's growing. He's, his colors are coming in great. Love this fish. I love the Frontosa. I can't wait to see the Frontosas at OFR. But he's also, this fish is mean. All right, he's the meanest Frontosa you'll ever see. I had to put the Paradise Fish in one of these breeder boxes. I'm about to move him because this guy right here, Mr. Frontosa, is going to kill him if I don't. So let's wrap this up with a nice little bow on top. All right, guys, blind fish, one-eyed fish. What are you going to do about it? What do you think about it? Me, I'm going to keep him alive as long as I possibly can. But the first thing you do, if you notice problems with your fish's eye, take care of it. Make sure he doesn't get a secondary infection. Other than that, your fish can live a very long, happy life with one eye or no eyes. You know, like people do. And if you do, you do need to euthanize a fish. Just, just don't hit it with a rock or a book or some blunt object, right? Just stop it, right? Just stop it. I mean, seriously, what if you got sick? Would you like one of your relatives to come over and just hit you in the head with a brick? I really don't think so. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a good time. I love all you guys. Thank you for all the support. I can't wait to see you next time on Vinny's Aquatics. Yeah, it, just hit the friggin' subscribe bell. Come on. Do me a favor.